Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy anniversary, baby. Got you on my mind. Today is my 33rd anniversary day. Celebrating with my bride. Not a greater place can we be but here in the Rio Grande Valley. Going to have a good time today. We're actually going to be celebrating all day. Hey Shane, God bless you. Have a full day today. Ellie, God bless you. Thanks for watching, Ellie. That's right, it's our anniversary. 33 years. Thank you, Kev. Yeah, 33 years. It's Valentine's Day for many. My wedding anniversary. This time, this time 33 years ago, I was probably barely getting up also. I had to go get um, tuxedos and uh, supplies for my uh, my wedding day. Hey, John, God bless you. Yeah, 33 years. So, 33 years of being with my beautiful bride, Lisa, Denise Tucker. That's right. And my son, Caleb, called me. One of the first ones to contact, or the first one to contact me um, in the morning. So, so good. Yeah, it's Valentine's Day. Listen, you guys have some wonderful Valentines. I want to thank you all for watching the broadcast and being with me. Some great things that are transpiring here in the Rio Grande Valley. We're excited about it. Excited being part of it. It's something phenomenal that's about to transpire and take place. And I know you guys are going to be blessed. You guys already know about it. Just putting some coffee in me. We're going to start, uh, thank you, John, thank you. We're starting the uh, our anniversary day, I'll share with you. Um, I had the honor of uh, meeting a gentleman, Luciano Salvador Hinojosa Jr. and his wife, uh, Janie. And they were members they have been members of the church for over 30 years that I that I know of, of Center Church. And it's wonderful meeting all of these legacy members that have been there for many, many years ago since Pastor Haspany. Well, Luciano was sick and on New Year's Day, he was uh, brought to the, to the uh, hospital and uh, had been fighting for his life ever since. And he passed uh, a few days ago. No, you're super busy. I know today is a super, super busy day. And so he passed a few days ago. We, last night we had a, a memorial service for him. But today we're having the funeral with the burial. And, um, you know, even though it's my anniversary, I have to say, what an appropriate way. I, I know it kind of, this is, may sound a little odd to some, but hey, Yeti, God bless you. I know this sounds odd to many, but you know, I, it leads me to believe every time I I do a funeral or I'm part of a uh, part of a funeral, you know th that's just another stage of life. God bless you, thank you. It's just another stage of life. When a person passes away, you miss them, I miss them. We don't want to see them go. We cry, and we feel emotional when someone passes. There's no question about it. But really, it's just another stage of life. And uh, I was at an event uh, this past week. And, or last week on Saturday, Sunday, on the 29th, uh, or excuse me, Sunday the 9th. I'll get my date straight after I finish my cup of coffee. And uh, we had uh, uh, we had Phil the Bulls uh, prayer and worship there at Center Church. And we were beating a stick. Uh, we had this staff that was put in my hands and we started beating it for a million souls to be one uh, north and south of the border of the river. And as we were beating that stick... They said, beat it for a million souls. So I just started beating it. I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't stop. And uh, the elders of the church gra gra grabbed it, uh, Pastor John, Pastor Richardson, and uh, we started beating on the stick. And then suddenly I s found myself seeing, I saw Pastor Richardson, wife, and I saw my father. And they were laughing and laughing and laughing, saying that they're orchestrating. And I heard Pastor Richardson's wife that's in heaven uh, laughing in heaven. And saying, uh, saying we're orchestrating that they both were orchestrating the coming together. Now I'm reminded of the scripture where it says that uh, 
uh, we are in such, uh, so we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. These are the witnesses that have gone home to be with the Lord before us. We're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. They see us, they walk with us, they cheer us on, they pray for us, they believe for us. They're, now, you know, the Bible says absent of the body is present for the Lord. And, but we also know that throughout the scriptures that we would see that were, were people that had gone on to be with, be with the Lord before us. And, uh, and then they came back and they would talk about those that they saw. Now, these are things of the supernatural. We can't physically understand what they are. We don't know really. Is it just a dream? Is it just an imagination? Is it a vision that the Lord uses to encourage us? Whatever it may be. Or is it reality? Did I really go into the spirit and see this happen? Now, I'm going to tell you something. Tell you the truth. Just the way visions and dreams work. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I really went and I saw Pastor Richardson's wife, I don't know if I saw my father physically. I don't know, but it's like, but I do believe that the Lord put something inside me because he encouraged me and built me up. And the Lord said to me, he says, I'm orchestrating this. I'm orchestrating what has transpired. The coming together there at Center Church it used to be the Trinity Worship Center. The coming together is seeing the kingdom of God being built, this new stage of life that we're entering into. Hey, Letty, God bless you. Hey, Alonzo, God bless you. I don't know. I don't know. These are mysteries that I don't know. But what I do know is I know that the Lord is doing this. I don't know these mysteries of is my father in heaven talking and manipulating and orchestrating. I don't know. I do know that there are many things in the scripture that say that it is possible. When the word says that we, are with, we have such a great cloud of witnesses. Uh, if you can't hear me, I can't instruct you. You got to turn, you got to turn the audio switch on the side of your phone on. That's what happens when people tell me, by the way, if someone says that they can't hear me, it's because they have an iPhone and they have it on mute. And when they turn it off on mute, then they're able to see. But I can't tell them. So somebody else has to tell them uh, that they have to take the phone off of mute and raise the volume and then they'll hear me. But the audio is fine. Educated one about uh, probate guardianship corruption. Laura, are you are you telling me, that, are you really asking me to do this? Educate everyone about probate guardianship corruption. Or are you just a... Who are you, Laura? Laura Pebbles Thrash? I think someone just landed on my page and said something. What am I talking about? No. Yeah, there is there is that, but I'm not going to talk about it. Lynn, God bless you. Lynn, uh, yeah, so somebody, sometimes you have a drive-by as they go in there and they just slap these things on there. Chances are they're attorneys and they're saying, wanting you to Google it so that way you can go see what their page is. Anyway, too much of my time. So here's what we have. We have uh, those that go on before us and they're actually before the Heavenly Father. The Bible says to be absent from the body, to be present before the Lord. They're before us. And so I don't know what these things are, but what I'm excited about is being able to do this funeral. And to do, you know, you look at funerals as sad. They are sad. They were sad on on uh, when my my loved one passed. Hey, Cecilia, God bless you. Oswaldo, God bless you. God bless you. And uh, yeah, it was sad when I saw my loved ones go home to be with the Lord. But you know what I rejoice about? I get to, I get to rejoice that I know I'm going to see them. And Paul tells us that our life here on this earth is nothing but a vapor. It's going to go by real quick. You got to live your life right. If you live your life right, you're going to be able to go and be with uh be with your loved ones. Thank you, Waters. Happy Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day to you too. It's also my 33rd anniversary. My wife and I have been married 33 years. What happens on 33? I'll tell you what happened. Jesus was crucified. Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus sat at the right-hand side of the Father. Jesus took his place in heaven. Jesus emptied out hell. Look at all the things that Jesus did at 33, 33 years old. So I like to say this, that my 33 years, these 33 years that we've completed is a, now we entered into a resurrection. I loved her. I love her more now than I've ever loved her in my entire life. She's more beautiful now than she's ever been before. She's been very beautiful before, but now more beautiful than ever, ever, ever before. Uh, Keith Holiday, how are you? What part of the world are you in? What part of the country are you in? Rolling, trucking, trucking down the road. God bless you, Keith. And uh, yeah, so wish her a happy anniversary also. If you could, that would be wonderful. So yeah, 
33 years. So we're going to go. We're going to start. We're starting the day off with a funeral. We're going to do a burial, a celebration of life. We're going to love on the family. And she and I are going to go disappear. Where, where we're going to go, I don't know. I know we're going to eat. I know we're going to go places. I hate funerals. I don't even want to go to my own funeral. <laughs> Elizabeth, that's hilarious. I like that. Everybody just says, I hate funerals. I don't even want to go to my own funeral. Have one to go to in the AM. I know. I know. Funerals are never fun. They're never fun. But if you can ever look at them as a good thing, then the best way to look at them is recognizing that you are celebrating a person's life. And you will soon, not soon, but one day see them again. Amen. I'm tempted. I was thinking while I was at the funeral home, I was thinking about putting my card in to the funeral home and see if they ever need any Christian, uh, any pastors that would help them conduct any funerals for Christians. I think it'd be a good place to win some souls. What do you think? I think it'd be pretty fun. Uh, I'm probably going to do it and see what I can do, see how many funerals I can get. I have a pastor friend, um, Pastor Spike Maldonado over in... Um, um, uh, over in Amarillo, New Life Church, Los Asados PC. That's right, Los Asados. That's right. We'll go to Los Asados. And um, anyway, so um, Pastor Spike, I, he went like on an 18 day uh, crusade of doing funerals, 18 days of funerals, 18, 18 funerals, 18 days, or something like that. And uh, and so uh, we got a chance to talk with him. He gives us good pointers on being able to do funerals. He's a master funeral conductor, but he's not allowed to be at my funeral. I'll go to his, but he can't come to mine. <laughs> he's, he's older than me, so. The odds are pretty good for me. <laughs> We're going to be raptured together, actually. We'll be raptured together. Anyway. All right, guys, real quick. Give me, I'm going to give you guys the next moments to give me some suggestions of what to do on my anniversary slash Valentine's Day. Come on. You guys speak. Pop it on there. What should I do on my anniversary slash Valentine's Day? Give me some ideas. Mimi, I need your help, Mimi. Ellie, I need your help. Elizabeth, I need your help. Keith, if you're on, I need your help. Tell me, what should I do on for Valentine's Day slash anniversary? You know, this is special. I've done all the calls with funerals. Get them all you can. That's right. Letty, I need your help. Tell me, what should I do? You guys type on here real quick. This is my... Anniversary slash Valentine's Day, 33 year anniversary. I need your help. I need you guys just give me some ideas. Thank you, Mimi. Give me some ideas. What should I do? We got one saying go to Los Asados, skydive. Elizabeth, you would say skydive. It's like 49 degrees today. <laughs> skydive. I will. I will. My heads are in the cloud. But that's a good that's a good one. My wife wanted a skydive. I told her I am. I don't want to skydive, but we just just never know. Ohama and God bless you. Hey, I'm asking uh, for suggestions of what to do. This is my thirty third, Lisa and I thirty third anniversary, and um, and Valentine's Day. Uh, so I'm asking for suggestions. Give me some suggestions what to do. I'm in I'm in the valley. Couples massage. Ooh, Cecilia, that's a good one. Oh my gosh, couples massage. That's a good one. I like that one. Go to Hawaii. Oh, come on. Elizabeth, I love it. Man, you really think big. I love it. Skydive in Hawaii. Hey, maybe that's a good idea. Take her to the island. Go to the shrimp house and shower her with rose petals. Mmm, beautiful. She loves shrimp. You know what? That's a good idea. The shrimp house? That's a good idea. We are thinking about going to the island. Let's see. I told the Paris Spa McAllen. Ah, uh, or Brazil? Ooh. Spend the day together. I vote couples massage. Oh, we got a vote. Two votes for couple massage. Hey, Letty. God bless you. I'm taking suggestions what to do on anniversary slash Valentine's Day. 33 years celebration. Come on. I need some more suggestions. I like the... I need some guys to chime in here too. Come on. We got we got a Hawaii skydive. Putting those two together. If I go to Hawaii, I take her to Hawaii. We're going to go skydiving. And couples massage. Oh, you know what? You're actually... This is working out pretty good. What if we had... Couple, we had a skydive in Hawaii and then couples massage. Oh my God, that would be awesome. That's some scoring really good points. Yeah, you like that one, huh? Double hearts there. Elizabeth said that's a good one. Skydiving in Hawaii and then afterwards end it with couple massage. Come on, I need some suggestions. 
33 year anniversary, a special 33 year anniversary, and on Valentine's Day, I'm running out of ideas. You know what she likes to do? Ah, oh, come on, Mimi. You know that's true. <laughs> but I want to hear your suggestions. Give me some suggestions. She does. She's wanted to skydive. My wife is wanted. To, but my wife will do. She'll climb mountains. She'll do whatever. She's a crazy lady. Estela Martinez needs your help. Jump on here. Look, I'm celebrating 33-year marriage. And this is uh, Valentine's Day. It's actually our 33rd Valentine's Day, too. So I need some suggestions. What to do. 33 years of marriage. Anniversary. Today is our 33-year anniversary. And Valentine's Day. So I need some suggestions. Guys, help me out. Help me out. So far, we got some pretty good ones. Shrimp house. Flower with petals. Uh, Hawaii. Skydiving. Skydiving Hawaii. She's she's Cray Cray. She used to own the domain name CrayCray.com. <laughs> Can't you not? 33 rows is a special note tied to each rose. Oh, come on. Ellie, that's so good. Oh, my God. I didn't think of that one. That's a good one, Ellie. Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reserve that one for one of these years. That's a good one. Okay. Uh, chocolate by her cruise. <laughs> okay, got it now. Cruise to Hawaii, then skydive, couple massage, flower petals. I love it. I'm writing all these down. We're going to have some super, super... Uh, anniversaries. I, I need these creative ideas. I mean, I've done some really creative stuff, but I really need these creative ideas. You know, I've done, I've done all the stuff. You know, I've done all the dinners and the beautiful flowers. I also took her on a cruise. On one of our anniversaries, I took her to the Disney, at Disney, Disney World cruise <laughs> without the kids. <laughs> I took her on a Disney cruise without the kids. <laughs> She goes, what about the tickets? She goes, what about the kids? I said, this is our anniversary, not theirs. <laughs> <coughs> and I'll tell Brian to do it. Brian! Okay, I'll tell him. Don't, don't let him get on this so he doesn't know that it's your idea. <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, I better go get ready. Let's see what time it is. Yeah, I better get ready. Hey, guys, I love you all. I love all these ideas. These are great ideas. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write every one of these down. Thank you so much for giving me ideas what to do on my 33rd anniversary and Valentine's Day. If you're watching this on delay, please post it on there. I want to hear your idea or suggestion of what to do uh, for 33 years of anniversary and 33. It's our 33rd Valentine's Day together. The Valentine's Day before I met my wife, I was bummed out because I had no Valentine. And I grabbed a big box of chocolates and I climbed up a tree in, this, in the backyard of, of our house that we had in... Uh, uh, in San Benito, and I threw chocolates into an empty field. I ate some of them, but I threw some, and I told the Lord, uh, I said, I said, I, I don't like being without a Valentine's. The first time since I was five, I didn't have a Valentine, and then I met my wife, and we ended up getting married on Valentine's Day the following year. How awesome is that? Skinny dip sky. Oh, <laughs> listen, I don't know if I could do that because that'd be a double moon, <laughs> a double moon rising. <laughs> Elizabeth, you would think of that. Elizabeth, you crazy girl. All right. Listen, I love you guys. I love everything you said. I love everything about you. I thank you all for tuning on my on my uh, broadcast when I go live. Dinner or lunch where you met or where you had your first date. That's a good idea, too. I like that one. Um, dinner or lunch. I, man, I, I don't know if I could do dinner there, but maybe I could do lunch there. <laughs> It doesn't exist, but it is a restaurant that is there. And it was called Pelican's Wharf is where we had our first dinner date. Our first date was at Pelican's Wharf down the block from her house. Just in case the date didn't go good, I wanted to make sure I could drop her off quickly. <laughs> and it was great. We had a great, great, great first date. All right, guys. I love you all. You guys are the best. Um, I pray that God continue to bless you in all that you do. 
Uh, remember, in all you're getting, go get some understanding. Hey, come join me at, for church uh, Sunday, uh, this Sunday morning at Center Church, 4801, uh, 4801 North Cage Boulevard. You guys be great. Hey, God bless you, Emery. Love you, man. Had a great time with your mother in love and, and your wife and your brother-in-law. Great people. I'll have fun. Be safe. Elizabeth, now you're telling me to be safe after skydiving and all that good stuff. You want me to be safe? Too late. Too late. We're going to go. We're going to get it on like Donkey Kong. All right. God bless you guys. Y'all be well.